Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. I do hope you're all well. Um, the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of the unification of male sexual energy into the heart, something along those lines. Now before I launch in, obviously you know that this is an experiential channel, all based on personal and professional experience. And all I can say is I've had the honour and privilege of connecting with masculine energy, um, particularly masculine energy in their 20s, 30s and um, low 40s. And I see that there is an epidemic of issues here with men being able to go into the heart. I've pointed signs in this direction over the years before. Um, the blue chip on masculine consciousness was one of my videos. Um, things along these lines, and I can put the link to that under this video. But it, it seems to me, now I'm seeing firsthand that there's an epidemic, and this is a massive issue here, because without men, connecting from their below the waist region to their heart the species is going to come to an end basically humans males have to do it and i didn't realize how huge a problem this is and how big a ep epidemic this is until witnessing it firsthand and this is a big problem that needs to be sorted out there has been deliberate programming of males to stay below the waist. So they never stay standing in their power. They never become unified and they never truly create from the heart. So this is a, a serious problem. Of course, it's been bubbling away there for years. I've been kind of mentioning it for years, but I didn't realize how serious this is. It seems to be particularly serious for those in their 30s. And interestingly, since 2014, I've been saying that the first waivers of people to ascend and become conscious in their human body will be in the 30s. So maybe that age range was targeted harder than any other age range. It makes sense, doesn't it? 20s are doing slightly better, but 30s are really struggling. And... Um, I didn't realize how bad that was. So it's the, it's the same old, same old, same old theme where at the last minute when masculine energy is about to come into their own and has the opportunity to literally raise up their sexual energy into their heart. And there are techniques to do this, which I have, have come to me quite naturally in the last 10 days. Um, they they don't they keep it down so there's the, the initial raising up of the sexual organs shall we say and then they keep that energy down but it's not just a release or a pleasure they're keeping it down from their own divinity their own true masculine power their own true masculine warrior their own true masculine love, their own true masculine multidimensional self. I didn't realise how much shit masculine energy is in in their 30s in the United Kingdom. And I suspect this is a worldwide pattern. Like I said, I've been blowing the whistle since 2014 now on what's happening to masculine energy and how entrenched programming but hijacking hijacking on an energy level has been taking place to stop men getting to where they need to get to right at the last minute and where they need to get to obviously is into their heart because that's the TARDIS that opens everything their multi-dimensional reality that opens everything so I feel great love really great love and compassion for men I love men I also feel really worried really disturbed how many are in trouble here 
we really need to help them because without men, we're, we're done. We're done. It's no men against women thing. We're done. We need each other. We need each other. It can't just be the, the feminine energy teaching teaching men to come into their heart if if a man won't step forward into that position if at the 11th hour he runs away from himself and it's not his fault there's no blame or judgment here it is not his fault it is the programming and it is that hijacking that takes place the blue chip on consciousness and sometimes that hijacking takes place in an alternate reality in another reality I mean, this has only come to my awareness in recent weeks. So there are techniques one can do to raise that sexual energy up into the heart, but a man has to be willing, men have to be willing to take that step in the first place, to not be afraid of their own feminine energy inside them, but to not be afraid of the actual feminine energy outside of them. There has to be this dance. It's the human race won't exist without it. Or we're going to lose a whole generation of men here. This is what really worries me. That the massive collateral damage for those in their 30s could be huge. And I'm only saying those in their 30s because that's the key age range here. But it is happening to their tw in their 20s, but less so. They're coming in with the new templates. Obviously, it's affecting those in their 40s and older because they're already coming from the older template. So it does affect them as well, but it's an epidemic in those in their 30s. And interest, there's no coincidence to this. There's, there's zero coincidence. These are the age ranges that will ascend in the human body first. So this is a problem. This is a big problem. And this needs to change and it needs to change right now. So we need people out there and it, it seems that I'm gonna be one of them that brings healing vibrational energy in and brings out you know a series of teachings on how to to do this how to get a man to connect from his penis quite frank, frankly to his heart and how to how we bypass this programming and we deactivate this interference on consciousness masculine consciousness particularly male consciousness has been targeted so a man can think beyond the, the limited limited capacity of what's below his waist and come into the fullness of who he is which is a powerhouse you know they don't know what they're missing i don't know what they're missing because the difference between just sex and intimacy is like Well, it's, it's hard to find a comparison. It is such a big difference. And how much strength and power and it opens, it opens multiple realities. It gets one to be able to create their life. Do you know how many times I've seen this pattern now? It's, it's, it's becoming quite boring, actually. I've seen this pattern countless times, personally and professionally. That when a man, that, that little door just opens a little bit, they slam it shut on themselves. This is the thing. They think they're taking back their power by slamming the door shut, but they're disempowering themselves immediately. They get a little taste of their own divinity, a little taste of something beautiful, a little taste of, of their own heart, and they run for the hills. And of course, we know why they run for the hills. It's because it triggers anything they haven't dealt with and repressed within themselves. And, it, and there is also a deliberate hijacking going on of male energy. So this has to change and this has to change now. It has to change fast because we don't have any time left. We're going to lose a generation here at this rate. We're going to lose a lot of, lot of men. Gosh, sorry about my hair. It's blowing in the wind. We're going to lose a lot of men here, gorgeous men that are too afraid on a very deep level, almost on the level of terror, really, to step into their own divinity, to step into their heart. They don't understand it. They just feel a huge resistance 
towards the signpost or the person that pointed them there. And it's, it's sad, but it's more than sad. It's a bloody tragedy. It's a bloody tragedy. So I'm going to put out, um, and this will probably be another video. I'm going to put out some actual ways of doing this, of getting into the heart. And I'm drawn to, which is the first thing, time I've said this in a long time, to actually do some teaching on this. Now, if there's anyone interested um, in me setting up either an in-person event or an in-person workshop or online, if because many of you are international that follow me, just email me because I'd just like to see the level of interest. If there's not much interest, then I'm, you know, I've gone wasting my time. And I will put some bits for free, obviously, up on YouTube. But if there's the interest in this, I think we've got to do something. I mean, we've got to do something now. You know, I love men. I love masculine energy. We're done with our masculine energy. Totally done. I had no idea how bad this disconnect is believe me I'm seeing it firsthand it's it's sad it's alarming it's quite frightening and we're going to lose a generation here and not just that generation you know those that that don't go into the ascension they seem to have really been targeted at that age range um you know it is affecting those in their 40s as well and beyond that have got the old templates it is just a very sad thing for me to see. So anyone that's really interested, I'd like to gauge the level of interest. So I won't get back to you straight away. Let's see how many emails do or don't come in. And let's gauge the level of interest on me doing some work on this. I think it has to be bigger than one-to-one -one work. I mean, getting to one person at a time isn't going to be enough, really. Um, I mean, I could just do it via YouTube video for free, but I want to do some proper teaching on this really um you know i work experientially my i've had a second kundalini awakening which has been off the charts and all i can describe is i'm having transcendental experiences here that i can't even describe but now i've become fully unified I'm unified fully with my own sort of sexual energy um i feel now i'm in the place to do this do you know what i mean the space to do this now um, and feel, feel it has to be done. So let's gauge the level of interest. I mean, I'm aiming this at males. Of course, feminine energy, of course, is welcome as well. It doesn't have to just be males. Um, males are in far more trouble than females. So females that would want to, to be part of it and they've got partners or lovers or someone that they could perhaps help with it, that would be fantastic. So it doesn't have to just be men here, but it could be women that sign up for it. But I'd just like to gauge the level of interest, really. And we'll take it from there. And um, depending on that, I'll probably bring another video out. Um, doing a few of those techniques. But I've, I really feel this has got to be done um, in a particular way. Like in a closed space kind of way, so that we all sign in on the, at the same time or we're in an online event or an in-person event. Um, I feel really passionate about this, so when I feel like this about something, obviously means something, you know what I mean? You know, from a feminine point of view, not only do we feel great love and compassion for you men, for our men, for the men that we're linked with in our lives, we also feel really fed up with this by now. You know, it's 2022. And it's extremely worrying that if, 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 they, if they haven't got their shit together now because they've been hijacked or they're being, emo you know, this falling into the programming. The, the trip switch on consciousness, I think I, I brought one out called that as well years ago. Then where is some serious doo-doo here? Serious doo-doo. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Drop me an email if you're interested in me doing some kind of thing on this and worst case scenario I'll bring another YouTube out shortly going through some techniques on how to do this and of course women can watch it as well because women can use those techniques for themselves but they can also use them with the any masculine energy they're connected with any or any actual males they're connected with 
So we'll see what happens as a result of this video. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care. Peace out.